the progressive app wasn't working properly when it went to take the video so here's the video of the damages they stole this tail light right here we left that intact they stole this tail light right here they left that intact and the way they got to the tail lights to steal it was they went through here and they triggered that right there to trigger the latches so they could take this panel down and drop that tailgate the tailgate seems to be working. There's four screws that went in there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any damage here. They go through these areas right here to get to the light. And I take it there's some little rubber plugs that go inside those holes on each side to get to the faster that holds the light. Well, guys, I got the craziest thing I want to tell you. I was out last night having dinner with a couple German clients that were in, in San Antonio and a buddy of mine, and we were sitting at the Saltgrass Steakhouse between Jones Maltzberger and McCullough in San Antonio, Texas. And we were there about an hour and a half, and we walked out. And uh, when we walked up to the truck, someone had stolen these two taillights. And uh, it's an epidemic in San Antonio. I didn't know about it, but once I had to file the police report, the police told me. So what they do is they come in, they jump in the back of your pickup truck, they take these four screws out right here, they pull this back, they trigger the cable that's in there that unlatches the tailgate. Now, if they're laying down, that gives them access to take that bolt, that bolt, and the same bolts on the other side, all right? And so the bad thing is, if you got deductible on your insurance, I have Progressive, and these are LEDs with a blind spot indicator. These lights would cost you going to Ford between $4,200 and $5,000. There's a radar in each light. That's how the blind spot works. Each light is LED. And so six hours worth of dealing with progressive auto insurance and there are people that are working at the house. Uh, I'm not gonna get this all. The truck would be deemed undrivable if I didn't do something immediate. And uh, at the Ford Auto Body Shop, it would be one month to two months to get the lights and then get it scheduled in so they could do it. Is that not ridiculous? One month to two months, and the main service center would not put these in. They said it's an auto body thing. So go figure, Blue Bonnet, Ford, you know, how ridiculous. But the Blue Bonnet service manager did recommend that I go out to Facebook. And uh, he also told me that his dad's lights were stolen out of the San Antonio International Airport with a platinum Ford backed up to the wall. And he didn't know they were stolen because he had it backed up and when he took off, of course, the blind spot and the cross things aren't working. But this is a serious thing and Ford knows about it and they should fix it. And the way they should fix it is to replace those fasteners with anti-theft fasteners because they're costing a lot of people down here a lot of money. Again, I have one online quote of $3,200 for both lights and another online quote for $4,200 and then you got to reprogram the module, the blind spot module to fit the, 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 your truck. You know, the module is fit whatever truck these things came off of. But this is a bad thing. And I just, I, this is really just to warn you. You've got, there's some anti-theft bolts and nuts and screws out there. Just Google these lights. And it's horrible. When I called the dealers up in the Northeast looking for these things, because you can't find them here, they're stealing so many of them between Austin and San Antonio that there's a shortage. So 
the dealers up north go, they're doing what? And yeah, this is like the new catalytic converter. So protect your lights because they're expensive, especially if you have a Lariat with LEDs or platinum, for sure platinum. It's gonna cost you a lot of money. You know, I've got a $1,500 progressive policy and they're still dicking around with, uh, you know, asking me for pictures and stuff. And I told them I'm gonna, I'm gonna repair these things myself, so. But the reason I went out to Facebook and found these on Facebook for $900 is that the truck is undrivable without these lights. When I went to the Blue Bonnet Body Shop, the guy says, well, you know, I can't drive the truck because if someone hits you, you're gonna be a fall. I said, you know, Texas law says that you can use hand signals. He looked like, me, like I was smoking crack. And I said, no, you stick your hand out the window. You put it straight out, that's left. You put it up in a U shape, that's right. You put it down in a U shape, and that's, uh, that's stop. And that's a legitimate hand signal, still works. There's old cars in Texas that still use hand signals. Motorcycles use hand signals. So it's, you know, you meet all sorts of people, and the guy at the body shop was a doofus. You know, he wouldn't give me a quote. He said, well, you gotta get the quote out of grass. I said, I wanna pick hash. He said, no, I, you can't do that, I'm too busy. He shows me two quotes on his desk. I said, Does he, I just need a quote for taillights. What's that, you know, what's that gonna take, 20 minutes? So protect your taillights, folks.